Hollywood, the heart of the entertainment world, the Hollywood Palace. With your hosts, Sid Caesar and Imogene Coca. Tonight, Edie Adams, Gene Bayless, Brendan Hanlon, Gladys Knight of the Pits, Nina Wogachova, Buddy Lynch. Mitchell Ayers and the Hollywood Palace Orchestra. We'll return to the Hollywood Palace after a word from one of our sponsors. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. You must perform every day of your life. They'll be waiting to see you. Your mother-in-law, your husband, your kids, everybody, anybody. Even if you have the blahs, the curtain will rise. Even if you feel as if you want to go back to bed, the curtain will rise. Even if you feel like two cents, the curtain will rise. With Alka-Seltzer, you can chase away the morning blahs, the blah feeling in your stomach, the blah feeling in your head. You're on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are your hosts, Sid Caesar and Imogene Koga. Imogene, isn't it great to be back at the Hollywood Palace? It didn't give you a feeling inside, huh? Do you realize how many stars have been here on this stage? Oh, boy. Standing <laughs> right where we are now. Oh, I can't imagine. I'll bet your Fred Astaire stood right over there. Over here, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh? That's nice. <laughs> Can you imagine how many, how many big singers were standing right on the stage, you know, about the caliber, like Bing Crosby, huh? Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for me. I miss trying being around show business, you love know? It, love it, love it's it, love it. It's not, it's what... Uh, Imogene, I got two tickets to a Broadway musical. Would you want to go to me? Come on, let's go! Let's go and see it. Here you are, sir. Thank you very much. There we are, Imogene. Huh? Oh, so well, excited. Big Broadway show. Front row seats, huh? Here Marvelous. we are. Marvelous. This is yeah. wonderful. Ah, boy, huh? What is the name of the show? Oh, show, it's a, it's a sequel to the show called Hair. It's called Toupee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get comfortable now. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, isn't that something? Ooh. I wonder where the stage is. <laughs> it's got to be here someplace. Yeah, I know, because it's first row, you know. There, there it is. is. Okay, yeah. we're practically <laughs> on it. Oh, yeah. I look all right. Look, look, the orchestra's coming oh, isn't in. isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, excuse me. I guess you must be the drummer. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, got, I, I thought that because you had those sticks in your hand, you know. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> you must, uh, you have a very interesting job. Yes, fascinating, fascinating job. I guess a lot of people sit here and they ask you what all these things are, you know, what, what is that and what is this and what is that, and you have to tell yes, them. Yes, lots of people ask. What is that over there? Huh? That, that's a kettle drum. Oh, yeah, really? that's... Oh, mm-hmm. What's that thing down there? This this little thing is a bass drum. Really? Yes. Oh, and, and what's that object in back of you? Oh yeah. 
That's a gong. Oh, yeah? A gong. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, what's this thing here? What is that? This, this is a symbol. Pardon me, uh, you don't play this much during the show, do you? <laughs> Only when it's written in. Oh, I see. Do drummers read music? <laughs> I thought they always just hit the drums. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Wouldn't want to touch your cymbal. <laughs> I thought they just hit the drums, you know, when they felt like it. Sort of the impulse of the moment. Yes, whenever it's written. <laughs> How did you decide to become a drummer? I mean, you could have been a writer or a painter or a pilot, you know? It's an interesting story. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yeah. You see, my parents wanted me to become a brain surgeon. But after going to school for about 10 years, I realized I'd never be a brain surgeon. Why not? Well, I was going to music school, and they don't teach brain surgery in music school. <laughs> Say. Well, all drummers are like that, you know. It's the noise that gets in their heads that makes them very irritable. Oh, look, 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 the oh. conductor is coming in. They're going to play the overture. Oh, isn't that something? really rings, doesn't it? Oh, thank goodness the curtain is going up. He can't play anymore now. Yeah. Oh, look at the scenery, isn't it? Well, it looks like just like a jungle. I hear that Colonel Brighton is sending a new governor down here to the colonies. <laughs> I do hope he arrives soon. Frightening things have been happening in the village. I've been hearing terrible noises all evening. Yes, the natives are restless tonight. Listen, they're beating on the jungle drums. Why? It's been Song. Oh, the hit song. Jungle Fever in My Bones. Oh, it's boy. the big hit of the show, you know. Listen, listen to this song. Can't you hear the drums? Look, mister, I'm just trying to do my job. Every night, two people come in here. They have those same two seats. The lady sits down and asks me, what's that? I say, that's kettle drum. The man usually says to me, how did you become a drummer? And I tell him, my parents wanted me to become a brain surgeon. Then the curtain goes up. I start with the jungle drums. They start complaining that they can't hear the lyrics. The first thing you know, I get involved in the conversation. I miss my cue, and you know what I'm going to do one of these days with this music? I'm going to take it because I can't stand any more of it. This is the mix of everything else. Now leave me alone! <laughs> Takes two to tango, you know. There's no need to be rude about it, you know. I would like to change these seats. What are you going to change? You can't change Don't want to sit near him. <laughs>
sensational, just Thank marvelous. You. you know, in my opinion, you're better than Buddy Rich. What do you know? <laughs> Imogene, he is Buddy Rich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Buddy Rich. Ah, great. Uh, Imogene, I, I just saw them backstage, one of the hottest recording groups in, in, in the country today. Really? They're, oh, they're, they're warming up. They're, they're really great. They're what they call Gladys Knight and the Pips. They're really exciting. Gladys Knight and the Pips? Is that an unusual name? Yeah. Gladys Knight. I don't know about <laughs> But when you hear them, they're really exciting. Really? When you hear them, they're just exciting. Really exciting. Yes, I heard it. Well, you know it's strange. 
But the same thing happened to my three guys. Hey, fellas, come on and tell them just how you found out. Special treatment softens the tobaccos for a smoother, milder taste. Raleigh's are tasting milder. That's why the flavor's wrong. And you get a special kind of coupon, too. The famous Raleigh coupon. Raleigh's are tasting milder. Raleigh's are. That's why the flavor's wrong. And you also get Raleigh coupons on light menthol Bel Air. The menthol's right. The menthol's right. Cause the menthol's right. Just the right touch of menthol with the white filter too. The menthol's right. Light because the menthol's right. You know, the movie stars of today are people we know a lot about, and we have great admiration for them. But it's nothing like the esteem, the awe, and the reverence that we had for the majestic stars of the silent movie era. Here are Sid Caesar and Gene Bayless as two moviegoers of the silent movie era. <laughs>
when Dick Simons takes the family for a spin, it's a light load. Everyone's slim and trim. Even my wife, Marilyn, she's had six kids. Yes, mother of six, and still she keeps as slim as her teenage daughter. It's easy, with exercise. And a post-treatment breakfast. Fills you up, not out. Right. For a crunchy, delicious cereal that contains essential protein, there's nothing like post grape nuts. Helps you stay in good shape. It fills you up, not out. Man does not easily change environments. So in going to the moon, Apollo astronauts take part of the Earth with them. Oxygen to breathe, food and drink for nourishment. Like the energy breakfast drink of Earth, Tang with more vitamin C than orange juice. Tang, proud of its role in this new environment, but also proud of its bigger role in the Earth's environment. Hey, Imogen, did, did you hear the singer warming up backstage? He has a marvelous voice, marvelous. Yes, yes, no, he, he doesn't, he can say that again. Marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> like, he doesn't just moan a song, he sings it, really sings it. And, you know, he came over to here from, from Ireland about six or seven months ago. And he, as soon as I heard him, I knew that this is where he belongs, right here in the Hollywood Palace, you know that? And so here he is, Mr. Brendan Hanlon from Ireland. <laughs> Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong I've gotta be me I've gotta be me What else can I be but what I am I want to live, not merely survive, and I won't give up this dream of life that keeps me alive, I want to be free, I've got to be me, the dream that I see makes me want. That far away prize, a world of success, is waiting for me if I heed the call. I won't settle down or settle for less as long as there's half a chance that I can have it all. I'll go it alone That's how it must be I can't be right for somebody else If I'm not right for me I've got to be free I've got to be free Daring to try to do it or die I've got to be me Go it alone. That's how it must be. I can't be right for somebody else if I'm not right for me. I've gotta be free. I've gotta be free. Daring to try to do it all. Wonderful, Imogen. Marvelous. Now, Imogen, you've been around uh, people in the circus, haven't you? Oh, yes. They used to come to my home for the winter. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, did you, did you ever hear of a low-wire act? Oh, sure. That's much more dangerous than a high-wire act. Of course, because in a low-wire act, there's more room to fall up. <laughs> anyway, here she is, Miss Nina Lokachiva. And I hope she doesn't fall. Oh, 
I know her brother. Bren, uh, 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 Brady. Yes. Brady look at you. He doesn't use a wire at all. Now, Edie Adams will be on the second half of tonight's uh, Hollywood Palace. Yeah. And all you movie buffs, stay tuned, because it's a gangster movie that we stole from the late, 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 late show. Oh, and, and it has a very Imogen, interesting don't, plot. Don't, don't, don't give it away. Imogen is in it. I'll be in it. And don't give it away. We'll, we'll, we'll be right back. Now, now we're going to give it, the stage a chance to take a break. Let's go. Come on.
Stay tuned for lots more in the Hollywood Palace. Can the right denture cleanser really make a difference? Listen to Mrs. Wilma Felder, a denture wearer. It really is a difference. I feel so confident knowing my dentures are really clean, odor-free, thanks to Polydent tablets. Polydent tablets fight denture stain and odors safely with effervescent oxygen action. Look, this denture material is covered with tough food stains. Drop it into water with a Polydent tablet. In minutes, your dentures are cleaner, brighter, fresher. Get Polydent tablets. Sid, would you introduce our next guest? Oh, gee, that, I mean, that, that'd be impossible. She, she's so gorgeous, you mean? And she's so exciting. I mean, to me, she's more exciting than Racco Welch, even Ali Guinness, you know? <laughs> I can see your problem. Yeah. You'd better let me introduce her. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the exciting Miss Edie Adams. <laughs> Tell you that'll clear your sinuses out. You've all seen the feathers. Oh, thank you. Oh dear oh, me. That's all right. Ah. Is that it? No. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you. Just give them a little bird seed, and they'll be all right. I tell you. No, I tell you that's a high D above high C. All those years I spent in music school, it never occurred to me once I was going to wind up selling cigars. <laughs> Thought never crossed my mind. I did spend an awful lot of time studying music seriously. And I get the impression today that most people feel about classical music and, uh, well, particularly opera, that it's, oh, I don't know, stuffy or square. It's not, you know. <laughs> Some of the plots of those operas really swung. For instance, La Boheme is really the Bohemians, and it's about a bunch of Bohemian Nazi art students. And uh, it's mainly about four people, Musetta, her boyfriend, Marcello, her girlfriend, Mimi, and Mimi's boyfriend, Rudolfo. And they were all very friendly. They all lived together in one room up in Musetta's attic. <laughs> but Musetta was a girl with a lot upstairs, I tell you. She really knew what she was doing. But she was a flirt, let's face it. She always had her eye on the fellas. And uh, I guess they called her the Sakatumi girl of her day. She really was. And Mimi, well, Mimi coughed a lot. <laughs> No, she had a definite problem. Uh, in fact, she was very, very sick, and uh, Rudolfo diagnosed it as la malade di mortale, which is, of course, today the Hong Kong flu. <laughs> anyway, she had a very bad chest condition, as opposed to Musetta, who had a great chest condition. <laughs> anyway, one day, Musetta decides that she's going to cheer Mimi up, so she sings this song, Musetta's Waltz song from 
La Boheme. Arthritis is a cold, gray pain that creeps into your joints. Warmth helps melt away arthritis pain. Unlock the stiffness. Bake out the chill. Bengay is warmth. Fast, deep down, on-the-spot warmth. For hours of relief from the minor pains of arthritis. Hours of comfort. Hours of freedom. Warmth is relief. And Bengay is warmth. That's a mini. I wonder how old she is. Who knows, 30, 40? Ah, uh, you need glasses. She looks about 18, 20. Her hands don't. If your hands tell a man too much, get help with cream. Paquin hand cream. If your hands tell a man too much, beg, borrow, or buy a jar of Paquin hand cream. And swing, baby. One champagne. <laughs> one gin and one champagne. Cigar, cigarettes, bullets. Cigar, cigarettes, bullets. Cigar, hey, cigarettes, you. bullets. Yes. Billy, give me a box of bullets. Forty fives. Dum dums, if you got it. Oh, here you are, sir. Keep the change. Please, sir. I'm from the Middle West. Cigar, cigarettes. Hey. You must be new around here. I'm Duke Wellington, one of the Moose's boys. I told you I'm from the Middle West. <laughs> How's it going with you, Freddy? It's a good night, Duke. The Moose is going to be happy. The Moose, the Moose. That's all I hear around here. 
I do all the work and he gets all the dough. If I was you, I wouldn't talk around here like this. You know the moose has ears. I mean, he's got ears. He's got ears like a hawk. I'm getting pretty fed up with the moose. <laughs> hey, it's the moose. was over on the other side of town and the moose could not help but overhear what you was just saying. Boss, what do you want we should do with this here guy? <laughs> you heard what the boss said. Go on, Duke, you're out of the mind. Please don't throw me out of the moose. No, I'll get even with you, moose. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, boss, yeah. The moose begs your pardon and wishes you all to continue for the merriment and the festivities. It's your favorite table, boss. Hi, you moose. <laughs> <laughs> Match, boss? Yeah, 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 boss, a match. Hey, girly, match is quick before I get killed. Come oh, here you are, sir. Oh, sorry. Cigars, cigarettes, bullets. Here says he's very much in love with you and would like to get engaged up with you. <laughs> Cigars, cigarettes. <laughs> hey, you! Didn't you hear the moose call? The moose says he's desperately in love with you and wants to get married up with you. He's in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think you are? Just because you own this place, you don't own everybody in it. You don't own me. I'm not always going to be a cigarette girl in the cheap speakeasy. Someday, someday I'm going to be a great singer in a cheap speakeasy. <laughs> you don't own me. You can't put a price tag on my love. You could buy a chicken or a doorknob or a second-hand electric van. You could buy a mansion or a picture of your grandson. But there's one thing you can't buy, little man. <laughs> you can't put a price tag on love. It is smart. You'll get hurt. You can't put a price tag on love. This is my heart, not a shirt. Well, a heart can love and a heart can hate. So don't mark my heart down to 2.98. Believe me, you can't put a price tag on love. Yeah, she's loaded with Moxie. Hey, sweetheart, what's your name? Moxie Hart. Moxie. <laughs> okay, Moxie, uh, if you and I get along together, you know, there's a lot of things I can buy you, you know what I mean? I told you. <laughs> you can't put a price tag on love. And you can buy chicken or a doorknob or a second hand. I hide that! <laughs> now, look, I'm the moose. Whatever I say goes here. And from now on, I say, you're mine! I'm not yours! I'll never be yours! Cigar, cigarette. What happened? I didn't get what I want. Now, now take it easy, boss. I always get what I want. Take it easy, boss. It's just a girl! It's just a girl! girl. Hey, look, you already got a girl. That's the old girl. I want a new girl. Who do you think you are? You can't push me over for the first new face that comes along. Why, you double-crossing rat? You think you can throw me over because you're tired of me? Well, I... And you can't get rid of me. Besides that, you know I've heard about guys like you. And you know, I don't like the way you've been treating me. And besides that, you'll never get rid of me no matter what, no matter what you do. You'll never get rid of me and you'll never. <laughs> Just because you found some cigarette girl, you know. You're no movie star. 
I'm the moose. Whatever I want, I take. I want her. Hey, you. Why don't you like me? Because you're uncouth. Cigar, cigarette. What's that uncouth? Uncouth, boss. Uh, that means you ain't got no cooth. So I ran short on cooth. Hey, Muggsy. Hey, take this on. Go out and buy every drop of cooth in town. Right. Take one of the big trucks. Right. Hey, but boss, you can't buy cooth. It's something you got to learn, like in college. All right, then we'll go to the biggest cooth college they got. We'll go to the biggest cooth teacher. We're all going to graduate magna cum cuthy, okay? But boss, you just can't go to college. You got to take a test. Gentlemen, I rep... Hey! What are you? I represent the Shakespeare Foundation of Cicero, Illinois. Oh, Shakespeare. And I am soliciting funds to foster the betterment of the American theater. What's your name? I am Professor Horatio Cyrano, a scholar of no repute, but merely a seeker obsessed with the pursuit of erudition. You hear that, Martin? Mm-hmm. That's cool. <laughs> hey, Prof, how would you like to have a donation, say, about 10,000 grand? $10,000? Yeah. My dear sir, I cannot express you my overwhelming gratitude. Hey, yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, come over here. You see this girl here? I'm crazy nuts in love with you, understand? But I can't talk to her because she likes cooth, you understand? And I ain't got no cooth. And it's not my fault, you know, because where I was brought up, there was no cooth stores there, you know what I mean? So I didn't know much cooth. But you got cooth. So I want you to tell her how much I love her and, 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 and cooth. And you, from now on, he's going to be me and he's going to tell you how much I love you and cooth. All right. All right, now go ahead and cooth her up. This is highly irregular. Oh. How do I love the old fair princess? As the moon requires the sun for its light, so does my heart bask in the sunshine of your glory. You see how I love you? <laughs> a thousand horses could not drag me from your side. Don't spare the horses. Two thousand horses. Four thousand. Four thousand. Let it ride. Oh, glorious vision of delight. The gods must surely be angry at your gaze upon my humble face. Right. Your lips, your nose, your eyes, your hair. They're in a class beyond compare. That's ah, super cool, people. <laughs> but do not deny me the warm softness of you any longer. Come. Ah, there we go. See me kissing her? See me go there? Look at me go, huh? <laughs> well, I would not get a kiss, I kiss, huh? Look at me kissing her. Boy, I'm having some time now. I ain't kissing nobody. Oh, wait. Look, Prof, what are you trying to do? Open up your own store? But I love her. And I love you, Mr. Uh, Mr. <clears throat> oh, uh, Moxie Hart, Professor Cerno. Professor Cerno, Moxie Hart. So, wait a minute! Look, Prof, you go and bury your nose in some book in some library. Or I'll bury you, your nose, and your book under the library. I don't care. I still love her. Oh, but you can't love me. I'm not worthy of you. I, I'm an orphan. Oh. Even though I'm above you, I love you. Get out of here! Now look, you said you wanted to sing? Okay, sing. I'm not going to sing. Sing or I'll blow up your voice. I didn't bring my music with me. We can fix that. Hey, fake it. (laughs) Even though he's above me, he loves me, loves me. Above me, above me, he loves me. Thanks for the light, Duke. <laughs> Moose, I got news for you. You ain't been paying your boys enough. They're working for me now. And this club is on my territory. And for your information, my territory extends from 125th Street to Cleveland. I think you got your maps mixed up, Duke. As of now, your territory extends from the tip of your toes to the top of your head. If you want to hang on to that territory, I would advise you to keep your mouth shut, pay your cover charge, and get out of here. That's pretty big talk, Moose. Now I'll tell you what I gotta say. I'll give you, you, 24 hours to get this club off the premises. Otherwise, that canary will be chirping at the bottom of the East River. Oh, well, Duke, you want to fight, you fight with me, you understand? Don't you touch your hair on that. <laughs> That'd really hurt you, wouldn't it? Okay. We won't go after you. We'll go after her. I'm surprised at you, Duke. 
big man like you now, got your own gang, got your own mall, coming down here to do a little job like this, personal like. I thought you'd send one of your flunkies down here to do a little job like this. Sure, a big man like you, you should be up at the hospital now, looking out after your foot. What foot? That foot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. I hope you can sing underwater. Now, you're gonna get it. Get the girl. It's a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Hey, Prof, you realize what you're saying? Yea, betterly. Unto a thousandfold. Hey, Moxie, you really in love with this air, Prof? It's only a girl from the middle of us can be. All right, Bugsy, get the lights. Well, Maxie, Prof, you're on your honeymoon. Oh. And as a wedding gift for me to you, I'm going to give you two tickets on a maiden voyage of the Titanic. Oh. <laughs> and as a going away gift, drinks on the house. Well, drinks drink on the house! <laughs> Let yourself go. Tuesday nights on ABC. The Mod Squad. It takes a thief. PD. That's life. I hope you've all had a lot of fun tonight. I know we did because we met all those talented people, didn't we? Oh, it was thrilling. Sid, would you like to tell everybody about next week's host? Oh, I'd be privileged to. Next week, your host will be Bing Crosby. Mm. So, good night, everyone. Good night. Still up? I can't sleep. Take a sleeping tablet. No, they're all alike. This one's different. It's night all. Safe? Sure, just follow directions. And it's non-habit forming. So what's different? Look, read this ad in good housekeeping. Nitol dissolves twice as fast as any other leading tablet. And helps you get to sleep fast. And wake up refreshed. Nitol tablets. Or the new fast-acting capsule, both with the good housekeeping seal. Travel arrangements for overseas acts and promotional consideration furnished by Pan American World Airways, the world's most experienced airline. Pan Am makes the going great. This is Dick Tufel speaking. Appearing in the sketch with Sid Caesar and Imogene Coco were Lee Delano, Michael Quinn, Simon Wilder, and Linda Wheeler. 